Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Delena. If you have not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, turn that notification bell so that you do not miss out on any of my uploads. Today I will be ranking my Chanel handbag collection, so let's get into it. <music> Y'all, today we are ranking my Chanel handbag collection. If you keep up with Chanel price increases, then you already know Chanel had a price increase on March 27th. So just a few days ago, and I decided it was the perfect time to share my full Chanel handbag collection with you all. Rank them from one through five because I do have five Chanel handbags. And just kind of talk about the prices that they were when I got them in comparison to the prices they are now. So we are going to start from my lowest ranking and work our way to the top again I have five different bags to talk to you all about you all have seen every single bag some you may have not seen in a while so you may have forgotten about them but that's okay we're gonna talk through them all I'm gonna tell you my thoughts at a very high level because really I want to just focus on the price increases and again the ranking of the bag if you are looking for a full handbag review a couple of these bags I do have full reviews or I've talked about them in another video but if you have more specific questions let me know and if there is a specific bag that you want to see a review on let me know that down below as well so coming in at number five it is my oldest Chanel bag or eldest Chanel bag my Chanel wallet on chain in this beautiful gray color now y'all I should have totally brought out I brought out a couple receipts oh wait I do have it y'all okay I have it okay so this particular bag is from the 20C collection. And let me see if I can get the tag out. Yes, I tried to bring out all of my receipts. That way we can just take a look at them. So it's from the 20C collection. And this is in the Champagne Gold Hardware. Um, this is before uh, Chanel switched over to microchips. So I do have an authenticity card. I got this from a Kylie Robinson. And this particular handbag I got for Christmas, December 2019. And my husband and I actually came to Atlanta specifically to get this bag for me because I wanted to come and shop and see my options in Nashville that's where I lived previously we only had a Chanel boutique within Nordstrom and I wanted to see other options before I made a final decision so my husband and I just decided to make a little weekend of it and we came down to Atlanta for me to look for my Christmas gift so first things first price okay this price of this bag this bag was purchased December 14th 2019 and this bag was $2,500 now I'm not sure if this handbag was in the price increase that just happened I don't think so but I will tell you all that this bag is now $3,700 so this bag is $1,200 more dollars <laughs> than it was when I got it now the Chanel wallet on chain absolute classic absolutely stunning handbag again this is the first Chanel handbag that my husband purchased for me so this is going to stay in my collection for a very long time it has a very special place in my heart anything that you get a first of you kind of just are like even if I only use it twice a year I'm gonna keep it like that's just my personality now I know some people might be like girl sell that bag no at this point now maybe in a few years I may look at it again and be like you know what maybe I should consider selling but at this exact moment y'all I love this bag still now what I will say is Chanel has a very long chain strap so one thing I love about this bag is no matter your size to a certain extent you are going to be able to crossbody this bag even at my highest weight I could still wear this crossbody and it looked amazing it didn't look too short that is one of the things I love about this the long strap again it's a wallet on chain so it's a very sleek bag you have several card slots you have a zip compartment here a little open compartment it's a very simple bag but to me it's a classic it gives you sort of the same silhouette of a you know classic flap or a mini rectangular so that is what I really like obviously you don't get the turn lock detail but that's okay you get the CC it's a little bit understated so if you're somewhere you're like oh I don't want people to know it's my Chanel bag they really aren't gonna notice unless they really know but you can always just kind of flip it to the back and at this point when you're looking at it this way it looks like it could be any kind of handbag you know so 
to me it's a great piece the reason i'm ranking it in is five is because this particular color i have found it hard to style it and i think it's because it's gray but it kind of has like a blue undertone and sometimes i just feel like i can't match it up perfectly outside of if i'm wearing like all white or all black something like that so let me know how you would style this handbag because i do plan on pulling it out more this year i do like the fact that it's a great sort of vacation piece because we all love a good crossbody when we're traveling and it's just kind of easy to get in and out of if you're kind of on the go so I think that's kind of been the toughest thing for me but either way I still think it is very stunning and again if I'm wearing like all black or something like that then I can easily pop this handbag on so this is ranked in as number five again has had a $1,200 price increase since 2019 all right y'all so moving into fourth place so the bag that's coming into fourth place in my chanel handbag collection is the chanel mini rectangular handbag so this particular handbag was purchased for me september 2022 yes when we went to chicago for my birthday we found this bag there this particular handbag is from let's see i got all these receipts over here this particular handbag is from the 22A collection. At the time of purchase, this bag was $4,400. $4,400 for this little mini bag. Now, if you know anything about Chanel, you know mini flaps are very hard to come by. Um, if you are not in there a day, the day that a new collection comes out, or you have an essay that kind of keeps you in the loop of when certain items come in the store. It's hard to get your hands on a mini rectangular. They are very popular, especially in black. I feel like there are always people that want one of these in black. Considering the black handbags I have, I kind of want one in black still. But for the new price, the new price is... 5200 sorry you all I had to look at my phone the new price of this bag is $5,200 so <laughs> the bag has gone up about $800 since this was purchased in September of 2022 now this bag is super cute this bag is my only lambskin Chanel handbag I have worn her a few times now this is a gray bag as well but this is a charcoal gray for me, this bag is easier to style than my wallet on chain because it's sort of like a true charcoal gray. I find it harder to work with the lighter color for some random reason, even though I love like pastel looking colors. This one, I feel like you can style a lot more if you're wearing gray, if you're wearing pink, if you're wearing a blue. Like I really feel like you can do a lot with this. However, for me, it's coming in at four because it is lambskin. So of course I'm being more careful with it. Now, I'm not gonna say it's like, oh my God, you have to watch everything you do with this bag. I don't feel like it's like that, but I have longer nails. So I'm trying to make sure, you know, when I'm out carrying it, that I am not scratching it up with my nails if I'm not, you know, just throwing it around. I'm just being more careful. I'll be honest with my cocoa handle, Baby, in my black one, baby, I be throwing that bag around. You would not think that bag was $5,000 the way I throw it around, but it's so durable. I would not do that with this one. I would not do that. I would be a lot more careful with it. And if you are going the lambskin route, obviously you can do what you choose. But in my opinion, you probably should be a little bit more careful with it, especially if you are wanting it to last essentially a lifetime. Do I think this is worth $5,200 now? I would say if you really, really want this, um, I don't know if today I would go in and spend more than 5,000 on this bag. Now, it fits a decent amount. It's a mini bag, but it still fits a decent amount of items. But I don't know if I would spend that now. And that's the reason I went the route of having mostly classic Chanel handbags in my collection because I'm at a place now where if I don't ever get another Chanel handbag, I'm okay like I have the main hitters that you need to have in a Chanel handbag collection so if I get to a space of you know what I would rather take my 5,000 and buy two handbags or three handbags at this place I'm good because I have the classic styles that I really really wanted but yeah this one's coming in at fourth place again an $800 increase let me know how you feel about the increase for this bag 4,400 was still a lot 
<laughs> and I think because we were in Chicago, the tax was like 10%. So 4,400 was a lot, but 5,200 to me seems a bit excessive for what you're getting. Um, obviously, you know, you don't have kind of the option to kind of double the strap unless you do some, you know, some of the little tricks that you can on your own, but it's cute and it's a great piece, but I just don't know if I would go race out and pay $5,200 now. But let me know how you feel down below in the comments. So we are moving on to third place. And the bag that's ranking in at number three is my medium Chanel classic flap. And let me go ahead and take everything sort of off of it. So this particular handbag was purchased for me Christmas 20, uh, December 2022. So I've had this bag for a little over a year now. This bag is from the, oh, I guess because it's a classic, they don't say um, which collection. But looking at the price tag, this was $8,800 at the time of purchase. So I remember racing my husband to go get this for me because I'm like, honey, I think it's gonna be a price increase in the next month or two. And I think, you know, if you really want to get me this for Christmas, I say, let's just get it now. I won't open it until Christmas. Obviously, I'll be in the store with you to get it to make sure it looks good, make sure everything is all set with it. But I just don't want this bag to go up five or six hundred more dollars. It's already super expensive. So he said, yeah, let's go ahead and just go to the store. Let's see if they have the one you want. At the time, I was going in to look at the small. And I believe at that time, the small was $8,200, which is obviously very expensive as well. But when I saw the small, y'all, I just felt like the size of it was so similar to the mini rectangular, like what you could fit inside. I was just like, it's not really worth it. If I'm gonna go with the small, then it would be just better to save $3,000 and get a mini rectangular in black, even though they're hard to find, that would be my better option. And so he was like, well, what about the next size up? Like, do they have it? So I asked him like, hey, do you guys have a medium classic flap? She said, yeah, let me go grab one from the back. And once I saw the medium, I was like, okay, this makes sense because to me, this size, it fits a nice amount y'all, but it's definitely not given like a medium size, like my medium YSL Lulu, it's definitely not given that. So keep in mind, yes, it's a medium and yes, it definitely fits a lot more than the small and my mini rectangular, but it's not like humongous. And I do have it stuffed with tissue, but it's not humongous. This bag is also micro tripped as well let me look at the price for this one it is now ten thousand eight hundred dollars so this bag is two thousand dollars more um <laughs> in the matter of a year and a half yeah because i think what happened was i think that year chanel did not increase prices in 2023 uh at the end of 2022 i don't think they increased the price until like january 23 but yes let me make sure again Yes, the classic flap, the old price was $10,200. It is now $10,800. So essentially $11,000. Um, Because with tax, we're talking over $11,000. If I ask my husband to get me this today, he might be like, girl, goodbye. <laughs> girl, goodbye. Like he really would probably be looking at me like, we, we're new homeowners. Like <laughs> we can do a lot of projects in our house with $10,000, $11,000. So in my opinion, I love this bag. However, I do not use her too often. And that's really because part of me wants to preserve her. I want her to look brand spanking new. Cause I mean, to me, for me to have had it for the amount of time I've had it, for me to have used it several different times, the bag looks brand spanking new y'all. Like it looks like I just went and purchased this today. I am trying to preserve this bag because in my opinion, considering things I wanna do in my future, I don't know if I will be racing to go spend, you know, let's just say in the next couple years, it's twelve, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I would at that point be saving to take a trip to Paris to go to Hermes or something like that. Absolutely not. So should you be considering this bag? Um, if this is a piece that's like a dream piece for you, yes, because I will say this was kind of one of my dream handbags and I'm so glad to have it. I'm glad I got it when I got it um, and I would not part ways with it. But if I'm having to go out today in 2024, I don't know if I would spend this. I don't, I don't know. 
I don't know if I would be spending this on something else or if I would just be breaking it up and spending half on a handbag, maybe some on jewelry. I don't know. Um, but let me know down in the comments below if you're someone that's inter interested in a Chanel Classic Flap, would you pay this now? If you have a Classic Flap now, did you pay, you know, this same amount? Um, or did you pay the amount that it just was, 10200 Would you pay more? I'm really curious how people feel about this because it's a great piece, y'all. I can't lie. It, it's a statement piece. It just does something to me every time I look at it. But for $11,000, I think I would pass on it if I had to go in store. So again, this bag is ranking in at number three. And this bag has had a $2,000 price increase since I got mine. All right, y'all. So we are moving into second place. So the bag that is ranking in at number two in my Chanel handbag collection is my Chanel Coco handle that I just got for this past birthday of mine. So September, 2023. Um, I have not carried this bag yet. <laughs> and I know some probably like, somebody's probably like, girl, what's going on? I have not carried her yet. I am absolutely looking forward to the day that I'm gonna carry her. I already have a few outfit ideas. Now I need to get the clothes, but I have some outfit ideas in mind for how I wanna wear it for like a brunch date out, either with my girlfriends or with my husband. I, I have a few ideas in mind, but I need to get the clothing pieces and I'm sorta of on a no clothing shopping right now. So <laughs> I don't have anything I wanna wear with it at this exact moment. Obviously I can pair it with all black or I can pair it with like neutral colors, but at this moment I'm kind of waiting for the right outfit to pull it out. If you are not new to my channel, you know I am typically not the person racing to carry a new bag in my collection. I know some people get a new bag and immediately start using it. That's great, that's awesome. But for me, a lot of times I will get a new handbag and I will wait sometimes a year before I use it. And that's just me. And also keep in mind, I have a larger handbag collection. So sometimes that makes it harder for me to rotate the bags as much as I would like to, especially if it's like a black or neutral bag, it's a little bit harder for me to get to it. But that does not mean I regret my pur purchase. I am so happy with this bag. I have wanted a pink Chanel handbag for so long and what I really like is that this one has like a kind of peachy almost a little purple undertone to it like I've paired it with a few purple things just trying it on with random things in the house and I love it I really really love this obviously at the time I was deciding between this and a more Barbie pink and for some reason I just like this one a little bit more and I just like the standard look all the extra details that they like to do on the cocoa handle y'all I would say that's not like my favorite thing um I like the very sleek classic and simple look this is the small size this is my favorite size of this handbag a great going out piece you can obviously take off these straps to make it even more dressy I think she's so stunning I love the champagne gold hardware so I can wear it with silver or gold jewelry it's a great piece now at the time of purchase this was $5,900 the small is now $6,200 so small price increase what is that about $300 yeah $300 since I got mine this past September so that's not too bad I think it says it's a five percent increase um yeah I don't think that's bad I don't think that's bad now I will say this is my preferred Chanel handbag when I look at what Chanel bag speaks to me the most at this point in my life and things could change in the future but at this point in my life the Coco handle is my absolute favorite style from Chanel it is classic it is sleek it has a top handle which we all know that is my favorite handbag style so that is why this bag and my other obviously my other Chanel Coco handle is ranking above my classic flap I have a just a love for top handle and that is just one of the best features about this bag so Again, $300 more since the time of purchase. Um, is it worth it? Because you get the kind of full classic feel, I would say if you're going into the store today, save yourself $4,000, almost five, and get a cocoa handle get a cocoa handle <laughs> obviously if you go up in size they're going to be a little bit more but go with a cocoa handle if you are like do i want a classic flap i would say go with the cocoa handle and put the other money in your savings or take a trip with it that's my opinion <laughs> so it's time for the number one spot and y'all already know what handbag it is it is my absolute favorite chanel handbag in my collection hands down 
my black small Chanel Coco handle. At the time of purchase, this was $5,000. This was purchased summer 2022 and it is now spring 2024 and this bag is $6,200. So from the time of purchase to now, $1,200 price increase. This baby right here, like I just said, if you are wanting a classic style, you want black, you want sleek, you want the classic fat, flat feel, but you don't wanna spend $11,000, $10,000, go with the Coco Handle. She is just so stunning. I'm telling y'all, I'll be throwing this bag around. Like my husband be looking at me like, girl, you know that bag costs, you know, a car these days. Like, <laughs> why are you throwing it around like that? Um, obviously a very used car, but yeah, I be throwing this thing around and she looks so good. I love the sheen she has. I mean, she is just everything. The beautiful burgundy interior. Love that. Again, the small size is my favorite because it's going to fit my essentials plus a little bit more. My favorite size. It's just so, it's so fire, y'all. So the cocoa handle, I don't need to spend a lot of time on it. We just talked about my other cocoa handle, but this one here, the black is just my go-to. If I had to leave out of my house today and they said, you got to take what you can take and you can't take nothing else, I'm taking her. And I know somebody probably like, well, why wouldn't you take the classic flap? It's more expensive. Baby, the cocoa handle is my go-to. If I'm thinking about a black handbag that's gonna fit my essentials, that's a little more dressed up, maybe not so casual like some of my other black handbags, you don't really want gold or silver hardware, I'm going here. I am picking her up. Now, I have taken a break from her. I have recently carried my Lady Dior more because I want to use that a little bit more because that bag is just gorgeous. Um, what else? I've been using obviously my YSL everyday bag. Um, so for me, I haven't been pulling for her probably since maybe Thanksgiving last year. It's the last time I wore this, which I'm glad because I was wearing her out. <laughs> I was wearing her out. She need a break. I got a lot of pictures with this handbag. She needed a break and I'm good with that. But um, I'm going to pull her out soon. But just know, you know, I have quite a few other black handbags, so I need to use them. I really need to pull my classic flap out as well. But, yeah, she's a great hand piece, y'all. Handbag piece, y'all. I love it so much. My top favorite. She is the most used Chanel bag in my collection. I do feel like this spring, summer, my pink one probably will be getting picked up more than this because I'm kind of wanting to pull away from buying so many black clothes. <laughs> And I want to get more neutrals and more fun colors. So I feel like I probably will pull out my pink one a lot more, which is totally fine, right? Obviously, the bag was purchased for me to use it. So that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, she's number one. If you have any questions about any of the bags you saw today, please leave them down below. Please keep in mind that, again, my collection may not be as fun as some others, but it is very classic. And again, all of these bags that I have today I will still love them in 10 years. Um, the longest bag I've had is my um, wallet on chain and that will be five years this coming Christmas. So definitely uh, something that makes me happy to think that I went the route of more so classic versus trend, especially considering the price point for these bags. But yeah, if you have any questions, any thoughts on the price increase, definitely let me know your thoughts down below. I greatly appreciate all of your love and support. Please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.